While President Trump and Congress argue over a solution to the nation's dreamers, undocumented immigrants who arrived in the country as children, there are new worries for immigrants with TPS, or Temporary Protected Status. TPS is issued by the Department of Homeland Security for people already in the U.S. who can't return to their homes because of civil war, natural disasters. So right now, there are 10 countries that are designated for TPS, but this week the Homeland Security Secretary announced the end of protective status for El Salvador meaning nearly 200,000 Salvadoran immigrants will have to leave by September of next year. Republican Congressman Randy Hultgren from Illinois is the co-chair of the Tom Lantos Human Rights Commission. He's been a supporter of the TPS designation, even when it means going against his own party. It's so nice to have you with us. Thanks. Good to be with you. Thank you. So why do you think this is happening now? At max, we're talking like 320,000 people who fall under this TPS designation in, in 10 countries. Why this now, do you think? The Salvadorians are the largest group who have received this temporary protective status. It's a little over 200,000 of the total in the program. So this is the largest grouping of that. Uh, so I'm not really sure. Uh, there has been several letters over the last months knowing that this date for extension was coming up. Uh, El Salvador still is not in a position to accept 200,000 people back. What would be the impact, do you think, if in fact you ended up sending 200,000 El Salvadorans Well, back? I think you'd have some people at risk. Uh, I think people would go into dangerous situations, continued violence, and some uh, people who really do need the protection wouldn't have that protection. I also think the reality is a lot of these people are working hard here, doing jobs that are important jobs that not necessarily other Americans are willing or able to take these jobs right now. And yet, oftentimes, money is being sent back to support family back in El Salvador. At a time when we need workers who are doing um, welding or construction work or other things that uh, skilled, uh, important work, we would lose some of uh, these people. And, and I hear at every place I go in my district in the suburbs of Chicago that uh, companies are looking to hire these types of people and we'd lose a, a sector of them. Some of the Salvadorans who are in this country under TPS would they have opportunities or should they have opportunities for for citizenship or at least a, a real pathway to citizenship as opposed to just sort of being renewed in a temporary status over and over again? My sense is these temporary protective status uh, people would continue to be temporary. Now, it might still be 17, 20 years before there's a change enough back in their countries for them to be able to go back in or for them to go through the process of being recognized here. Um, do you think that you're actually going to be able to get to a resolution because there are a large number of Congress people on both sides of the aisle who believe as you do? I hope we can. Uh, I think the one good news, if there is good news, is it's uh, September of 2019. I think it's September 9th, 2019. I know that's going to come fast, but it's almost two years away. So there is opportunity for us uh, in the Congress to work to try and find a solution. How much of this do you think is just the politics of um, making a stand against immigrants. Some folks who just don't want to see uh, any programs that have people come to America from other countries. My great-grandparents immigrated from Sweden 100 plus years ago uh, for opportunity and also for freedom uh, that they wanted to have here. And so many of us have those kind of stories that America has been, I think still is, an immigrant nation. And we, we need to make good decisions of what's good for America, but also what can allow us to still be that refuge, that light in the world when someone feels threatened, uh, where they don't feel safe, that uh, if, if there's no other place to go, America is a place I could go. Congressman Holtzgren, nice to have you. Good to nice be with you. Me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.